All right, so we're gonna do a little demonstration on the Eimer Coin 4, 220 current, three phase, draws about 30 amps. This is a continuous mixer and pump assembly. This is a 100% duty-free motor, run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, never get hot. Different applications. So on this side, you have your feeding wheel area that'll feed your material into your chamber here. All units will come with the dust grate. Lock right now. Take a regular wet vac, and any HEPA system vacuum will work perfectly fine. Absolutely dustless. Now let's do a quick setup on where you're going to begin with this unit. Now, like I said, 220 three phase. It draws 30 amps. You have two motors on this, so you're going to have a seven and a half horsepower motor and a one and a half horsepower motor. So you're talking about 10 horsepower all the time. That's where you get your 30 amps from. Regular plug-in, which of course comes with the unit with your notch, how to put it in. There are also other ends. So this is gonna be your main plug for the machine. On the other side, it will come with our Eimer plug. We will also give you different versions of US plugs so it'll fit any outlets for your own. Even if you wanna hardwire it into a panel, you can also do that. All right, let's do a little run around here before we start. So, you have your electric hooked up. Now we're gonna check. This is a dual switch. So no matter how you hook your 220 current up to it, this will give you either option. So either to the, that'll be your reverse. You're looking for a blue light. So if it's not that way, now you have your blue light. Which means no matter, there is no switching wires, there's nothing, it's a dual current. So you can go either way, how you hook your wire up, you're always gonna be fine on this. So your one way is gonna be your forward with your blue light. The other way is gonna be, if you don't have the blue light, that will be your reverse. Okay. Let's go through the panel real quick. So you have a rough idea what we're talking about with the panel. Of course, emergency stop button, which is only necessary, God forbid, or something. You never really need the emergency stop button. You're always gonna leave that out. When you wanna stop the machine, we'll show you in a little while. So this is your main switch. So you're gonna put on, you have your blue light, which means your current your electric is perfectly fine. Now, <laughs> this is for your engagement of your pump. So the coin four comes with a booster pump. So this will boost your water pressure up 70 PSI. So whether you're getting it from a commercial building or a residential building and you're coming right off, it has the capability of boosting the water up to where you need it. So two different things. As you can see right now, we're drawing the water out of a 55 gallon drum which this has the capability of doing also. So basically you're gonna submerge the hose into the tub like you're doing, prime the hose like a regular water hose. You'll be able to hook it up to here and your pump will draw it in. So now let's just turn the pump on so you get an idea of what we're talking about. So now you can see the PSI coming in. You wanna see the gauge is over four, which means you're getting plenty of pressure coming into the pump which is also ideal if you, you, know, you think you're lacking water. And then on your front gauge, you can see your PSI on the main gauge. This is your PSI in your main gauge, which says it's perfect. That's exactly where you want to be. Okay. Now. Now, you want to go through the panel again? Sure. Okay. Let's do a quick run through on the panels to give you an idea. Again, your dual on off switch, which will give you the capability on how do they wire this together, it'll go either way. So once it's wired, you don't have to ever do anything, you turn it to one way, no blue light, don't worry, turn it the other way to your other setting, blue light, which means you're perfectly good with electricity. Now here's one thing, blue light means you're ready to go forward, you're pumping forward. Now if you want, so which means your other way is reverse. This switch down here is your reverse. Reverse meaning your rotor and stator. So you have forward and reverse on your rotor and stator. <coughs> this is your pump, which will engage your booster pump. 
this switch, your switch next to it is your feeding wheel, which will feed your material into your mixing chamber. Your on-off switch for your rotor and stator pump, and of course, your reverse switch. Now reverse will only work again, just to say it, when you're in the reverse mode. So if you're in the middle or in forward, you, you're not gonna hit this, you're not gonna get anything. Okay. So, now. So, we have the water pressure coming in. One thing I always like doing, as you get your water in here and everything set, turn your pump on. Let some of the air pressure out. Just to clear the air line. And you'll be able to see the air pressure out of here when you start to do it. And again, water feed switch. You can see where it is. Now, being a continuous water, once you set this water to two one liters, it will always stay that way. So usually, let's say you're doing self-leveling. So you want to bring it up to about 1250. So you can set it on this. This is your adjustment for up or down. So you can set it. You can lock it in. That's your 1250. And you can see right on the gate. And it will always continue to be the same amount of water on every mix. Done. <laughs> now. Let's do a free up of your rotor and stator. This is the R8 rotor and stator. Now, before you want to do it, you never want to use pump with anything in it. It's always got to have water or material in it. You never want to do it dry. So what I usually always do is turn the pump on, turn your pump on, put a little water in here. Just to free up, just to lubricate the rotor and stator. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is now, you put this back on. Now you want to make sure your rotor and stator is free. Now, there's a couple different things. <laughs> on a brand new rotor and stator, it's going to be very dry. So one thing that I always tell everybody to do, in all honesty, if you want to, a little silicone spray, spray it on top of your rotor and stator. Just spray it around and let it soak in a little bit, just before you do it. You'll probably have to do it your very first application, as soon as you turn it on. After that, it should be pretty free. Let's take a quick look inside of here so we can get an idea what we're talking about also. This is your mixing chamber. This is where your feeding wheel will drop your material inside. You have your mixing paddle, and then of course on the bottom is your rotor and stator. And like I said before, is if in the beginning of a brand new machine to free up your rotor and stator, have absolutely no problem spraying a little silicone spray around it, let it soak into your stator tube and you should be ready to go. You're going to drop this back in. And then you're going to drop, close this back up. And you're going to want to line up these two splines together. So if you see this, this manually moves by itself. You can turn it any way you want to, just to line it up, just to catch your mixing chain, your mixing paddle. Let's drop it down. As you saw before, we put a little water into your rotor and stator here. Now we're going to free up your rotor and stator. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the pump on a little bit. You're going to put it in reverse. Give it a little shot in reverse. You hear it turning. Then you're going to go back to the middle. Blue light. Go forward a little bit. Now your rotor and stator. Now your rotor and stator is free. Ready to go. Now, this is one thing I always tell everybody before you want to start. Whether you're doing self-leveling or grout, one thing you're going to want to do before anything is to fill this chamber all the way up with water before you start pumping. So what you're going to do is like we did before, pump on, pump switch. You're going to fill this up with a little water until it comes all the way out. Okay. That means you got enough water to start pumping your material. Now, two different applications. Self-leveling, no priming of the hoses. What we usually do is the exact same process. You're going to fill your chamber up with water until the water comes out. Put your hose up. You're going to have your 
dry material inside the hopper. You're going to turn on your pump. You're going to turn on your feeding wheel. And then you're automatically just going to start. With this field up with water, you're going to get your first mix right through the hose and prime and everything. With grout, anything with grout, the one thing you're going to want to do is the same kind of application. You're going to fill your chamber up with water until it comes out, but you're going to also open up your top fill from here up to the top with Portland cement. That'll automatically... So the Coin 4 comes with a booster pump. So this will boost your water pressure up 70 PSI. So whether you're getting it from a commercial building or a residential building and you're coming right off, it has the capability of boosting the water up to where you need it. So two different things. As you can see right now, we're drawing the water out of a 55 gallon drum, which this has the capability of doing also. So basically, you're gonna submerge the hose into the tub like you're doing, prime the hose like a regular water hose. So you'll be able to hook it up to here and your pump will draw it in. So now, let's just turn the pump on so you get an idea of what we're talking about. So now, you can see the PSI coming in. You wanna see the gauge is over four, which means you're getting plenty of pressure coming into the pump, which is also ideal if you, you, know, you think you're lacking water. And then on your front gauge, you can see your PSI on the main gauge. This is your PSI in your main gauge, which says it's perfect. That's exactly where you want to be. So, we have the water pressure coming in. One thing I always like doing, as you get your water in here and everything set, turn your pump on. Let some of the air pressure out. Just to clear the air line. And you'll be able to see the air pressure out of here when you start to do it. And again, water feed switch. You can see where it is. Now, being a continuous water, once you set this water to two on liters, it will always stay that way. So usually, let's say you're doing self-leveling. So you want to bring it up to about 1250. So you can set it on this. This is your adjustment for up or down. So you can set it. You can lock it in. That's your 1250. And you can see right on the gauge. And it will always continue to be the same amount of water on every mix. Done. <laughs> now, let's do a free up of your rotor and stator. This is the R8 rotor and stator. Now, before you want to do it, you never want to use pump with anything in it. It's always got to have water or material in it. You never want to do it dry. So what I usually always do is turn the pump on, turn your pump on, put a little water in here. Just to free up, just to lubricate the rotor and stator. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is now, you put this back on. <laughs> now you want to make sure your rotor and stator is free. Now, there's a couple different things. <laughs> on a brand new rotor and stator, it's going to be very dry. So one thing that I always tell everybody to do, in all honesty, if you want to, a little silicone spray, spray it on top of your rotor and stator. Just spray it around and let it soak in a little bit, just before you do it. You'll probably have to do it your very first application as soon as you turn it on. After that, it should be pretty free. Let's take a quick look inside here so we can get an idea what we're talking about also. This is your mixing chamber. This is where your feeding wheel will drop your material inside. You have your mixing paddle. And then, of course, on the bottom is your rotor and stator. And like I said before, is if in the beginning of a brand new machine to free up your rotor and stator, have absolutely no problem spraying a little silicone spray around it, let it soak into your stator tube, and you should be ready to go. And drop this back in. And then you're gonna try to close this back up. And you're gonna to want to line up these two splines together. So if you see this, this manually moves by itself. You can turn it any way you wanna, just to line it up just to catch your mixing chain, your mixing paddle. Let's drop that down. I'm going to lock it in tighter. Okay. Now, as you saw before, we put a little water into your rotor and stator here. Now we're going to free up your rotor and stator. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the pump on a little bit. You're going to put it in reverse, give it a little shot in reverse. 
You hear it turning? Then you're gonna go back to the middle. Blue light, go forward a little bit. There you go. Now your rotor and stator, now your rotor and stator is free, ready to go. Now, this is one thing I always tell everybody before you wanna start. Whether you're doing self-leveling or grout, one thing you're gonna to wanna to do before anything is to fill this chamber all the way up with water before you start pumping. So what you're gonna do is like we did before, pump on, pump switch. You're gonna fill this up with a little water until it comes all the way out. Okay? That means you got enough water to start pumping your material. Now, two different applications. Self-leveling, no priming of the hoses. What we usually do is the exact same process. You're gonna fill your chamber up with water until the water comes out, put your hose up. You're gonna have your dry material inside the hopper. You're gonna turn on your pump. You're gonna turn on your feeding wheel. And then you're automatically just gonna start. With this filled up with water, you're gonna get your first mix right through the hose and prime and everything. With grout, anything with grout, the one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is the same kind of application. You're gonna fill your chamber up with water until it comes out, but you're gonna also open up your top, fill from here up to the top with Portland cement. That'll automatically prime the hose as it goes through. 